Hi, my name is Jeff Sparks uh, from Boston, Massachusetts, rheumatologist here at uh, ULAR with Room Now. Um, just got finished listening to the 2022 update, updated recommendations for ULAR for the management of rheumatoid arthritis uh, presented by Dr. Joseph Smolin. So uh, this is interesting because they really outlined very clearly what, what they changed since the last time this was done and also lined up uh, what changed against the uh, recently published 2021 ACR guidelines of which I was part of. Uh, in particular, they went into detail about um, whether or not short-term glucocorticoids should be used um, as in, in early RA. This was something that was very controversial and different about the different recommendations between ACR and ULAR. Um, as background, in ACR, we really wanted to talk about um, making glucocorticoids not the default. The, I think it, within all of rheumatology, people have... Um, there's, there's, less reluct there's more reluctance to want to use glucocorticoids in lower doses and shorter durations, and we felt that that should also be um, part of the RA landscape, whereas before you would start it on almost everyone, and now it should be the exception rather than the rule. Um, so they really talked at length about how, um, what the definition of short term was, that tapering should also include tapering off, um, and I think their framework is a bit different because they're not really going all in and all out about whether it should or should not be started, but really going in and saying it, it should be considered, saying that it would be reasonable to do so and it would be reasonable not to do so. Some of the data that supported their recommendations were outlined fairly clearly, but to me, everyone who ends up being a long-term user has to start as a short-term user. Uh, for me, I want it to, to be an option for patients, but I don't want it to be the default. Um, other big differences were related to line of therapy, in particular, how JAK inhibitors should be used or not used um, after um, methotrexate inadequate response. Uh, and again, uh, you know, the, the big issue there was the oral surveillance data. They also went over some of the other observational data, some of the trial data related to uh, interleukin-6 inhibitors. Uh, and again, with a lot of asterisks and caveats, they said it could be considered. Um, whereas, you know, certainly this was before the ACR recommendations were on, um, so that was not necessarily broached or an agreement, but to me, oral surveillance was fairly definitive saying that, um, you know, they're, they're, the non-inferiority non margin was not reached, so uh, TNF inhibitors should be the first-line treatment unless there's really extenuating circumstances. Um, so overall, this is really the first sort of uh, new scientific data that's been presented. Uh, the, the actual abstract sessions will be starting later this afternoon and I'll be looking forward to giving you more updates about some of the uh, original science that will, will be there and hope that you tune in to Room Now. Thanks.